the Asian giant hornet is an apex predator. There's no shortage of ominous words to describe it, the invasive pest that famously garnered the nickname murder hornet. Having something that could really cause you a really serious world of hurt, unbeknownst to you, uh, living on your property, that is really what puts you in danger. So with the next round of their fight against the invasive species on the horizon, officials on both sides of the border are ramping up surveillance. The goal, full eradication of these buzzing bullies that are known to attack honeybees. This is particularly the case in, in August and uh, onward when these hornet nests uh, demand a great deal of animal protein and they are going after uh, the raiding of honeybee colonies. The first time these hornets were spotted in BC was in Nanaimo nearly two years ago, where a ground nest with more than 200 of them was found in a popular park. Experts fear what might happen if the carnivorous population takes off. It's going to have impacts. Uh, we just don't know what those are at this time. But um, my policy is let's not find out because Asian giant hornet isn't supposed to be here anyway. But so far, it's not clear if they can actually survive in B.C. long term. Last year, there were no sightings on Vancouver Island, and just six were spotted and recovered in the Fraser Valley. That's where crews plan to put most of their traps for the 2021 season. Maybe we will have uh, nothing to show for at the end of 2021, which would suggest that uh, uh, the Hornets don't like British Columbia. And I think we are just very happy with that if that's the case. Still, with bigger numbers just south of the border, British Columbians are urged to keep their eyes open and report any sightings of these pests to the Invasive Species Council of B.C. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.